Um, so yeah, I'll try to have orient it with uh, this one down. I guess I should kind of well, no, I want it to be able to move. I'm not going to snug them up too much because I want it to be able to line itself up. What's that? I can help line it up right here. Probably would do better if I was doing it from the inside, but it's already kind of lined up. Yeah, that's what I can do to line it up. So I'm going to tighten it because it'll uh, it'll help keep it up against there so that when I drive the screw in there, you know, I'll probably hit it again from the inside. Okay, now, I really do. I, wonder, I think they might be in the toolbox. Let me go see if my earplugs are in there. Man, the last time I was using I was using that impact in my closet, driving screws, making making a vent for my server, air, let the heat out from my server that I put in my closet. So now it's a server closet, and uh, I was driving you know like three inch wood screws, and it was so loud that my ears were hurting that evening, or whenever it was I quit, and it lasted several days, you know, the effect the ringing in my ears I don't think they're out here I think they might be in the house I really don't remember where I put them they were in here for years but I dropped uh, the, the washable set I dropped one down beside my desk in a spot where I, I can't get in there to get it out and I thought I thought about get the vacuum out sometime and just vacuum it up from there if I can get it down close enough well <laughs> I don't really remember where they are in there. So I... Oh, did I put them in here? There they are. Woohoo! This is from uh, pre-1992. So. But these are those yellow spongy ones. And they're not too dirty to use yet. <laughs> Not cleany clean, but yeah, I put them in there because that's where I would need them. Let's clean these fingers up a little bit. These, you know, you, they're considered disposable. But uh, I'm sure if you haven't seen them, you roll them up, put them in your ear, and then they expand. Hurry, you gotta hurry. So I can hear it expanding. <coughs> And just making my throat itch. I don't like ear earplugs. I don't like things in my ears. And when I, I can't stand to wear them all the time when I'm working because when I worked at General Dynamics, the first shop I worked in, hand finish, was loud and uh, tried to wear them, <clears throat> but uh, couldn't couldn't stand the ringing. I've always had tinnitus as far back as I can remember <clears throat> before I ever started getting into mixing sound for metal bands. <laughs> I uh, think I remember it. Well, I was in my, I was probably around 25 whenever I already had it worked when I was working at GD. <clears throat> and I think I remember having it. I'm going to put these screws out of the way. I don't want to turn this whole thing over. <clears throat> put them back in the deal they came out of, I think. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I'm just going to go ahead and hurry up and do it. <clears throat> Instead of moving the camera and all that junk. Put the lid on it. Last thing I want to do is dump a whole bunch of screws in the floor and have to pick them up, little ones especially. Yeah, I did some organizing on those and really got them. The ones in that tin got them separated right. This is the first time I've used this Bluetooth mic setup. Uh, well, any length of time, and out here in the garage and walking around, I, I don't see why it wouldn't reach, you know, all the way to the other end of the garage. <clears throat> but uh, I keep thinking about what if it's not working out down there and all that. The door just wants to follow. Let's see, just like that. Okay. 
And now I can just tilt it up like I need to. Whatever I need to do. And put screws in it. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I can even... Oh, line it up. Make sure it's still lined up. There. Okay. And I think I'm going to start with the driver because... Well, I can try starting it. But I didn't feel like it, I could even hardly start it by hand. Let's just drive it all the way. Well, no. I mean, with the regular screwdriver, you got to push pretty hard. And then that'll push it off of there, you know, so. <clears throat> i got to get where I can do it, even if I'm blocking it. I think it ran it up. Gotta be careful with that thing, it's really powerful. Didn't really necessarily need it. Ran all the way up, but I'm gonna leave it until I see what the condition of the rest of it is in. See what condition my condition is in. It just stopped in. Let's see. For some reason, I think that's the one to do next. I don't know why. Normally, I always get things started, and I may need to back that off a bit. Yeah, I probably should so it can center itself. I'll back it off a bit with the regular screwdriver. Can I take them both off? Yeah, that'll still help hold it up against there, so I'm just going to do them one at a slow time. One at a, oops, lost which one was which. One on my left, okay. Or on my bottom, there, it's on my left now. There we go. One on my left, on my bottom, whichever the case may be. I've got a I've got a piece of cuticle coming up somewhere. I keep feeling it, but I can't even. Ow! It's right there. There it is. I was thinking it was on a different finger, and I wasn't finding it. I think I, I got some clippers in my pocket. That's what they're here for. Okay. I have always kept clippers on my key ring because uh, well, mostly I used to use it when I worked in the cabinet shop for. Uh, Splinters, pulling splinters. It's better than digging them out with a knife. If you, if you're careful, if your if your clippers aren't, <laughs> dude, these are slippery and worn out. But if they're uh, actually if they're too sharp, you know you can't really pull them out with them. But I always had a pocket knife too. You usually, sometimes you had to do both. There we go. Well, that'll get you. And sometimes you'll hang it on something and it'll just go up a quarter of an inch, you know, skin ripped up. Okay, that's better. My, my, um, cubicles needed mending. Oh. Yeah, can't push hard on it. It moved. I was trying to, you know, make sure it was lined up and it moved. Okay. Be careful with it. Can't push real hard, of course, it'll just push it right off of there. I think it's. Those are so rounded off, it's hard to tell if they're run up all the way. Those heads. I think it is run up all the way. Now, I forgot to. Uh... Well, it, it would have turned if it needed to. I forgot to loosen that other one off. You know what? It wouldn't have. I don't think that would have been a good idea anyway. 
that worked like I did it. Whether I did it according to plan or not. Yeah. Where'd that go? That went down in there. What'd you do that for? You didn't want that in there. I can't see it. Oh, no it didn't. It's on the floor, yay! I thought it had gone down in that. It was going to be stuck in there. Okay. Oh! Hit my knee on the washer. There we go. That worked out. I'm glad I thought of that. Thank you, Lord. You know, if you ask the Lord to help you figure out how to do stuff, He'll tell you. If you listen. It's hard to learn to listen. I've been working on it since I was a kid. Still don't do it. Great. <laughs> oh, come on. Pepper down. Okay. There we go. Boy, I'm glad I got this thing now. There we go. I mean, I do have to put pretty good pressure on it to get it to go on in. No, that wasn't all the way down. Okay. Let's see. That one's really tight. Can't turn it for nothing. That one just skips out. I could not have drove that by hand. I must have done the last one with my 18 little drill. Just don't want to overdo it and break it. one of those off in there. I think it's actually might be... Yeah, it's down on one side, not the other. Which, so that tells me I guess that thing didn't self-move... Move. And it's it didn't get centered on that. Let me see if I think it's worth. I don't think it's worth backing them off. Yeah, it's on there. There's no space under it or anything. It could be that they weren't drilled all that great, you know, that it's a little bit off. Could be. There's no space under it or anything, so. Can't even get my fingernails in there. Wait a minute, is that. That's the one I was thinking was it. Let me go ahead and roll it and make sure. Oh, I guess I need a feeler gauge. Here's my feeler gauge. If I can get a screwdriver under it, no, it won't fit. It won't fit on there to check it. I'll just, it's better to use my fingernails in this case. Don't want it to worry. It's loose or could come loose or anything like that. Now it's this this piece of a of this drawer is the most nicely made. It's I don't know why it's chrome plated, but it's chrome plated. I guess that's uh maybe to make it you know but the whole thing is not just the ball part. Um to make it to slide on the on the uh, plastic bushing but every edge is smooth there's no sharp edges except for you know you can tell this was this was not drilled with a regular drill i think it was uh i'm looking at this because it's the same as that one i think they might have been drilled with some sort of drill tap combination or something because uh maybe it only went so deep that's probably part of it. It went so deep. No, wait. That's a punch. Punch out. It's been punched. Yep. It's been punched. So it's probably some automated machine that punches those out. Yeah, so it might... It probably is not perfect in the location of the holes. And so that one is why it's a little crooked. Because, you know, I had it, I, I, I mean, it was fairly tight, but it could still, the sec, it, could, it could still move, you know, like that on the second one. I believe that was the second one I put in. My voice sounds so weird in my head now. 
Okay, so, uh, yeah. Definitely don't want it to where it would be working its way loose or anything, but uh, one side was down and the other side's up, and if I keep hitting that, I'll break that head right off of there. These are what holds it together. You know what? I think that penny was the penny that was driving me crazy, and I think it fell out. Oh, there's a missing screw all the way around. Huh. I wonder if... Uh, I just thought that's where... There was one screw missing, but there's... You know what? There's no... Uh, no witness marks. I don't think it ever had them. I don't know why. Maybe they just thought that... That was a waste of money to put that extra one in there, but there's no more, nothing on, not a single one that shows that it had something on there for a long time. You know? Or even a short time. That one, you might think there used to be something there, but you can see where the belt was. Okay, so we got our trailer hitch ball on. That's smooth from where... I started to say that looks a little thinner, but not, it's not. Okay. There's a little bit of... I don't think I can get it out of there. There we go. A little bit of fabric softener. I don't think that was anybody's sock. No, it's, it's fabric softener. It gets in there all the time. What's that? For a minute. You know, I went to... Let me get this out. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just lint. Yeah. Uh, the reason I kind of said, what's that? Because I, when I went in the house to eat, you know, I went in the bathroom. And I went down in the commode. I saw what looked like a, a shriveled up, you know, a, not shriveled up, but a you know, folded up, closed up, uh, black widow spider. About as big as, about as big as my fingernail. And uh, I thought, you know what? I think I'll flush him down because he might still be alive. Some, they, well, I've seen him get in there before, or and are and they are somewhere like that. And uh, you think they're dead, and they're not. They start moving, you know. And uh, as far as I know, the black widows we have here are not the poisonous variety. Well, I mean, you would. There, there could be some, especially you know all the. Different species of different things have been moving around, all around the world, <coughs> taking plane rides and everything else. Snakes on a plane, that's how they got all those anacondas in Florida. Wasn't just a movie. They get up in the landing gear, and when it shuts, they take a ride wherever that plane is going. That's, they say they like the warmth or something of the plane. But Okay, so uh, that's on there. Uh, now, talking about the bathroom now, I feel like I gotta have a break. Uh, maybe I will do that, take a break before I go further. Get these earplugs out. Kind of don't want to pull them out with my filthy hands now. I want to keep them, try to keep them clean. So, uh, I may just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go take a break. I'll do that now. And then when I come back, um, when I come back, uh, I think I'm going to put the drum in, but I'll, I'll think it over. Okay. I'll be back in a little bit. Of course, there will be no time on the camera remote since I get to stop it until I come back.